appreciating the past, understanding the present, and envisioning the future of child nutrition. At NFSMI, we're doing all three. The world of child nutrition is constantly evolving. Over the years, child nutrition professionals have seen changes in virtually every facet of the profession. Changes brought about by dietary research. Changes in customer taste and expectations. Changes in products and preparation. Changes in facility design. In meeting the challenges of today's quickly changing environment, finding meaningful, timely information, and then applying that information can be critical to the success of the child nutrition program. The National Food Service Management Institute exists to help child nutrition professionals adapt to change and to prepare for the future through the development and delivery of resources that enhance the professional's ability to provide healthful, appealing, and safe meals for children. Located on the campus of the University of Mississippi with an applied research division at the University of Southern Mississippi, NFSMI's state-of-the-art facility provides workspace for education programs, seminars and workshops, a distance learning classroom, a food service production laboratory, archival storage for historical documents, and efficient work areas. It is a place where child nutrition professionals can come together to learn, discuss, and plan for the future. However, NFSMI is much more than bricks, mortar, and glass. NFSMI is also a virtual institute. Many NFSMI resources and seminars are accessible via the NFSMI website, and the NFSMI staff is available by toll-free line, fax, or email to answer questions, identify information, and work with the National Agricultural Library to provide timely access to materials. Available both on the web and in print, NFSMI's resource guide lists dozens of training materials to choose from, materials on topics from basics in nutrition to food service facility design. NFSMI's distribution system also enables you to access USDA materials. This year, many new titles have been added, some available only on the web. Food Safety for Summer Food Service Programs is a set of lessons and supporting materials that helps summer food service staff and volunteers learn ways to provide safe foods outside of the traditional food service environment and to teach children basic food safety practices. Recalls of either commodity or purchased food products can create challenges. Responding to a food recall includes a reference booklet, a leader guide for delivering a two-hour training program, brochures to distribute to school administrators and media, and a poster to display in the food service area. Measuring success with standardized recipes is a training package with a manual, video, CD-ROM, and revised basics at a glance poster that assists school food service and child care managers and employees with the development and use of standardized recipes in their operations. The Choice Plus Food Safety Supplement provides information on how to apply food safety principles to purchasing food, receiving and storage practices, as well as critical factors in maintaining food safety and quality are described in this resource. Changes in schools sometimes bring about changes in food production systems. Although the idea of centralized food production operations is not new, the use of centralized food service systems is increasing. A guide to centralized food service systems was developed to assist school food service directors in making decisions about whether or not to centralize food production in their district. From the trainer's tablet, Lessons for Family, Home Child Care Providers is a set of eight lessons and supporting PowerPoint slides that can be used to train staff on providing nutritious meals for young children. Available only on the web, the training modules include cost-effective shopping, family-style meals, food intolerance and allergies, food safety at the child care center, food safety at the grocery store, grains and breads, what is a serving, infants, understanding the feeding relationship, and infants, understanding growth and development. Emergency Readiness Plan, a guide for the school food service operation, provides information and sample forms for successfully managing a disruption in the food service operation from natural disasters to unexpected interruption of telephone or computer services. Providing children with nutritious food is a core value for child nutrition professionals. And as a vital member of the educational team, the CN professional needs to take the nutrition message to the classroom at every opportunity. 
The Nutrition Traveling Trunk, Exploring Cultural Differences Through Food, is a set of educational materials with accompanying nutrition lessons designed for teachers or CN professionals to use in the classroom. Emphasizing culture through food, the Nutrition Traveling Trunk uses the Food Guide Pyramid to teach students the importance of nutrition. Children will be able to identify the regional origin of foods on a world map and will learn how people of different nationalities achieve a balanced diet with a variety of food group choices. During the activity, children will be encouraged to taste unfamiliar foods. And the Applied Research Division of NFSMI recently completed Tools for Hiring Successful School Food Service Assistants. This resource assists program managers in focusing on the skills needed by the employee during the employment process, such as communication skills, interpersonal skills, work ethic, attitude, educational skills, and physical health. Also included in this resource is information about the employment application, background check, tests, and interview. Tips on the selection process are also included. Check the NFSMI website often for other Applied Research Division reports. This year, and every fifth year, the NFSMI Research Conference was held to bring into focus some of the issues that affect CNP most, and then recommend ways to address those issues through NFSMI projects. Participants were individuals who represent you, and come from schools, child care, and state agencies. We know that our programs and services must not only address today's concerns, but also look toward the future for those issues that will affect child nutrition most. To guide us, the NFSMI National Advisory Council, Training Advisory Councils, and Project Task Forces provide ideas and information to plan, develop, and continuously improve our efforts. One of the most important new initiatives NFSMI has undertaken is the Child Nutrition Archives. The vision of the Child Nutrition Archives at NFSMI is actually almost as old as NFSMI itself. The idea was introduced in one of the early advisory board meetings. When the new NFSMI building was designed, space was dedicated for the archive collection. This year, a grant has made it possible to begin accepting, organizing, preserving, and storing artifacts of the child nutrition profession. Earlier this year, an advisory board met to determine how the archives could best be utilized to appreciate the past, understand the present, and envision the future of child nutrition. What kinds of materials would best represent our work in child nutrition in the past and be useful to researchers in the future? It was determined that collections of archival materials from state agencies that administer the child nutrition programs, state affiliates of ASFSA, school districts, and individual ASFSA members may find a home at the Child Nutrition Archives. Materials of particular interest include correspondence, pictures of school kitchens and lunchrooms, menu offerings, regional or by state, posters, early textbooks related to child nutrition programs, food service training materials, newspaper and magazine clippings, stories from school food service personnel, pictures of old equipment and equipment catalogs, transcriptions of hearings, especially at the state level, or artifacts such as trays, tickets, tokens, or ASFSA collectibles. The first materials given to NFSMI for the archives were some of the papers that Mrs. Thelma Flanagan had collected when she was a state director in Florida. If you have items such as manuscripts or papers that may be of historical significance to the child nutrition profession and the child nutrition archives at NFSMI, please contact Dr. Beth King at 800-321-3054 for more information. Each school day in America, millions of children enjoy school meals. When child care programs, summer food service programs, and other food service activities are included, the importance of successful programs becomes even more evident. As child nutrition professionals, we appreciate the challenges and successes of the past. We strive to understand and embrace the requirements of today. Together, we will make child nutrition programs even better for the future.